Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Volvo XC40, and we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. As you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front grille. It's just a regular chrome panel, and this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it gives the vehicle a more sportier look, and we also black out the grille. If you like the product, link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So to prep the panel, all you need is water, baby shampoo mixed together inside a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it until you clean back of the town and just start removing all the contaminants that the panel may have. And also make sure once you finish cleaning off the panel, make sure that the panel is completely dry. You don't want to leave any water residue on the panel because if there is still some water left over, then the adhesive on the film will not stick. So we want it clean and dry area to work with. So now that we're done prepping the panel, now we can start with the installation. So when it comes to these two, the installation process is basically the same. The only difference is one is smaller than the other. So that's the only difference, but the installation process is basically the same. So all you need to do is just align it from top to bottom. Make sure you give yourself enough material to cover the chrome. If you do happen to have a little bit of excess on either side, just trim it off. And now make sure it covers everything. Start from the middle and make sure it just covers and wraps around each section of the panel since it is a small curve. And just to help it around this section and on the edges, we're going to apply heat to help release the tension on the film. And then once we help it release the tension, little by little, we'll help it sit to this small curve here. And then after, we will trim off the extra material. Okay, so just apply heat to help release the tension. And you could also start applying heat all around the film just to help that adhesive activate faster but our main focus is this section here so as you can see the film is losing the tension when you apply heat once you apply heat let it cool off and then slowly help it form to the panel and as you can see it's not forcing itself it's staying on the panel and all we need to do now is trim off the excess material so you could create a small outline with your finger of where you need to trim and once you create that outline we can trim off the excess material. So grab your blade, carefully insert the blade between the gap and trim off the excess material. Find the gap in between the emblem and the panel. Take your time and trim off the excess material we don't need. Carefully peel it and everything should sit. And you just rinse and repeat until you remove all the excess material. And then once you remove everything that is excess material, We'll come back and apply heat just to help the film sit in case there is some film lifting after we trimmed off the material. Now it's good. And now just apply heat. And once you're done with this one, we're going to repeat the same steps for the bigger piece. So once you finish installing two small pieces in the middle section, now we can move on with the lower section. So with this one, you place the film and you have an idea of where you're going to start and end. So it's going to start roughly around here where the curve is about to finish. So on both sides, that's where you'll match it. So match the film there and just follow the design of the panel. Use your finger to guide the film and just make sure you're giving yourself also material to cover underneath here. So as you can see, you can tuck in the film. So make sure you have material to cover this section of the panel. So relift the film for the purpose of this. So relift and start again. Just make sure you have enough material. Make your way until you reach it to this edge. 
And just make sure the first step we need to do, make sure if you do have fingers, let's say here, be careful not to crease them because if you apply too much pressure, it will cause a crease. So if you do have those strong fingers like those, just lift the film carefully and readjust it and place it down to remove those fingers. So make sure this flat area is flat and tack down. And we're going to start on the curved section first. So apply heat. And the reason why we're applying heat is because if you notice, there's a lot of tension on the film. So to release that tension, we need to apply heat around the curved areas on both this side and on this side to help it tack down without creasing or wrinkling the film. So let the film cool down and slowly with your finger, just help it tack down like this. So you notice it's all flat, it looks nice, no creases. And you just do that same step on each section of the curve. That way we avoid, let's say for example here, creasing it. So we want to avoid creasing it by applying heat to release the tension. So do the same here and on the curved area on the other side. And once you finish tacking down the curve, start with the flatter area once again. And once you get to the other curve, do the same steps that we did here. And then just rinse and repeat, applying heat on this area to tack it down. And once you're done with both sides, focus on the middle and just tack down everything underneath the panel. And then just take your time. If you do feel that the film has tension underneath, just apply heat to help release the tension and then just tack it down. And now the last thing to do before we move on with the next piece, trim off all the extra material. So there's a small gap in between the grill and the panel. So just make a small outline with your finger. Once you create the outline, trim off the extra material. And if you have extra material underneath, you can trim those off as well. Okay, so once you finish installing the lower piece, now we can move on with the last piece, which is the middle section. So with this one, you can start by aligning it on either section of the curve. Just make sure when you place it on one curve, you can use this top section as your guide to align the film. And keep in mind with this one, you could lift this carefully, the gasket, a little bit higher in order to tuck in the film. So if you're aligning it, just lift it carefully, place it till you reach it to the other curve and then just leave it, place it here. So we're going to focus on tacking down this whole middle section first. So make sure you remove any air bubbles that are in this middle section here. And like I said, you could tuck in the film. Just be careful not to crease it. And just do the same on this side. Now around the section of the curve here, we are going to lift the film just a little bit and apply heat like how we did it with this curve here. And the reason why we're applying heat is just to help release the tension and help the film sit more better to the panel. So lift it carefully, apply heat, let it cool off and just use your finger to help it tack down. Make your way until you install it here. And as you can see, it looks flat. Just make sure you work around the curve, apply heat to remove any fingers around the curved edges. You can use your squeegee to help it tack down, or you can use your finger either one, 
and as long as it covers this whole panel here. And then the same steps that we're doing here, you would just rinse and repeat on the other curve. And now same process here, deep curve. We're going to help it tack down to cover the inside of the panel. With this one, it's not as deep as here, but just make sure you cover everything as much as possible underneath the panel here. So just apply heat around the curve. And this should help release the tension on the film. And another thing you can do is make a release cut in order to release the tension on the film if the heat is not helping. But if the heat does help, then you should be able to just use your thumb, tack it down, and secure it to the curve. And you just rinse and repeat until everything's tacked down. And then just do the same steps here, here, and then we'll work in the middle. All I'm doing here is securing this flat area, that way there's no bubbles, and now we'll work on this end. Once you finish tacking down the whole film, now we can move on with the last step, which is trimming off all this excess material. And then once we're done trimming off the excess material, the last thing to do, post heat the entire grill to help the adhesive act very faster and cure. That way the film doesn't lift from the grill. So make the outline of where you're going to trim. And then trim off the excess material. So once you're done with the whole installation and you finish trimming off the excess material, the last thing to do would be to post heat the entire panel. So to post heat, all you need is your heat gun and just start applying heat all over the film, making sure you help tack down any film that's still lifting after we trimmed off the excess material. And this will help that adhesive on the film cure faster. And then once you're done post heating the entire panel, you're done with the installation. So just take your time when you're doing this whole step. Thank you for choosing Forward Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the Chrome Delete for the front grill for the 2022 Volvo XC40. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.